formal presentation of the under seven. This is the ninth team to get the trophies. You can see how the trophies are right left. Imagine it was like when we started, so we're halfway through tonight with the seven. Um, I know you've got the trainers all the time training, but nobody knows who they are because it's your first year. So I'd just like to tell you who these guys are. This is Will, my grandson here. He's been with the club since he was seven. He's now with the seniors. Uh, in his first year with the seniors, he's the leading goal scorer. He scored 17 for the seniors. 17 for the seconds and two for the first. And he's passed his leaders, of course. They've all passed the leaders exam. At 16, all three passed the leaders exam. So they're all qualified. So we're not particularly wrong. So I'll do Fraser this because he's behind me. Fraser, he's still 16, aren't you, Fraser? Fraser, again, we were the since he was seven. Fraser's represented West Wales at football. He's still 16 now, he plays in the, uh, with Halford West County in the McWherter League. He's held a regular place at 16 and under 19, which is the top uh, football around here. He's also a qualified referee. So other than that, at 16, he's not got a bad I don't know Finn all that well because he only joined us when he was 14. But Finn, Finn has played for the first whole season. Finn scored five goals. He's passed his exams, the leaders exam, and he's also a qualified referee. But I think he's a bit older now, he's 17 now. Oh, he's a bit more than that. So, they, so these are the boys that have trained your team. Next year, are you doing the eighth race? Yeah. Well, then we'll just sort it out. All those boys that are. Seven of the 31st of August will be playing for the under eights. And the under eights playing the small loop, the, the proper goals with net. This time they'll have a goalkeeper. And your coach for that is going to be Richard Nash, Florian's dad. And one of these boys here is going to go with him because these boys will all go to university and we'll lose them next, next year. So yeah, the under sevens will have continuity. Uh, with two out of three of these boys, and you'll, you'll get new boys joining you, and you go through the same format. So that's that. I'm going to carry on. I think just one point in because I say it's not formal. We were awarded, and have been for several years now, the silver accreditation from the Football Association of Wales. There are three teams, or three clubs in the whole of Pembrokeshire that have got this. That's us, Clive Road and Thames. Swansea have asked us if we'd be an official feeder club for Swansea City. So, so next season, Swansea City trainers will come here and they'll take some of the training sessions. They'll also have a look. And those that are good, they will... Give, you know, we try to help you progress. <laughs> the coaches will also get uh, extra tuition, if that's the right word, from Swansea City. So the, the progress is absolutely fantastic. If these boys are good enough, Swansea City will come and have a look at you, and they'll get ways of trying to make you better players. And then eventually, when you're earning a hundred thousand pound a week, just remember me. <laughs> so, so that's it. I shall leave it now to the boys. So that's what's happening next year. We're all, and in August, I'll give you a, a text to come here to register. And then we'll all register before the season starts. So just wait till August and then it'll all start. So I shall leave you in the capable hands of uh, your coaches. So if you listen intently, we'll learn something. Okay, boys, enjoy. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for coming. Unfortunately you're stuck with me tonight, I've been in failure of bigger babies than these boys, I won't give a speech. 
Well, for one of the agencies in we've had, Finn Fraser, Richard and myself, I've never coached a team before, and on behalf of the four of us, I can tell you it was quite an experience. On Saturday mornings, it's very hard to give everyone a game when you have about 200 kids to them that all wanted to play. Oh, how nice! Also, when you have people in your team like Ted and Niall, who I've caught on the pitch chatting while the game was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to the show today, I'd just like to thank a few people. First, I'd just like to thank my grandparents, Dave and Jennifer, or grandma and grandma, as I call them. They do such an amazing job on every Tuesday and Saturday, selling the pictures and gold, and they get all the pictures to stay in such good condition. Cameras for all the time would not really like it if it wasn't for them. I think I speak for everyone when I say thank you, so can we all give them a round of applause for their efforts? And their Secondly, I'd like to thank the kids for turning up every weekend and giving it their all. Although sometimes they can be extremely trying, I'm sure they all enjoyed themselves and it was a great year. I think they all deserve also, I think they also all deserve our applause. <laughs> and finally, I'd also like to thank the parents for taking the kids to every game, taking me to every game, and also being an amazing support to the kids. I think they all deserve our applause. <laughs> Now, the only reason the kids are still sitting here are the trophies. Even though, <laughs> even though everyone gets a trophy, there are two special awards that are given, and these are to the Manchester Player of the Year and the Most Improved Player of the Year. When we were choosing the Most Improved Player of the Year, a few names come to mind. Kids like Rowan and Harry, who give everything and have improved dramatically throughout the season and last year But the person we have decided to do to give the trophy is to someone that we feel has grown and grown as a player throughout the season, and that player is Harrison. So, if I have to <laughs> Now the final award for the kids to give their trophies is the player of the year. There were three major contenders for this trophy. Firstly, Owain. This boy has had an amazing season, playing wherever he's told to play and not arguing at all. Secondly, Sammy. Apart from the fact that he's had the most goals for the team, he's an amazing player all round and gives 100% in everything he does. But unfortunately for Owain and Sammy, another person has dropped the bunch. This player has to be one of the most talented seven-year-olds I've ever seen. Touch of the amazing, I know that he will grow up to be a great player. The player of this year is Ollie. Thank <laughs> you.